Coaches, Mike Kuchar at XNO Labs, www.xandolabs.com. I'm going to show you some clips of Coach Yashinsky's punt block, punt return unit here that he detailed in the full length clinic report on xnolabs.com. We're going to go a little mix mosh, go in, in mixed order here based on some of the clips that Coach pointed out to us here. First thing we're going to do is a stunt or twist, okay, which you're going to see here in a second. Um, you're going to see a twist up front. Okay, by the first three or four defenders inside, showing double A gap pressure, okay, against your traditional spread punt here. Okay, what's going to happen is the twist is going to come from here. Here comes 31, just a simple gap exchange. 31's coming the outside gap. Okay, here comes this player coming on through the inside gap. Okay, you're going to have interior pressure here. You see automatically this right wing is going to be forced right now to block the most outside rush. And once you do that, once you have those games in there, those twists, okay, it becomes obviously more difficult to pick up. And you're going to see inside penetration here, okay, right through the middle. Quickest way to get to a punt, of course, straight line. And um, pretty good job here getting his hand up, getting a block, and getting that done. Get a better shot here, the end zone shot here. So you see again, interior, interior pressure. Here's the block. Here's the blocker, okay, right coming from that stack alignment. Okay, you have an A-gap pressure here, okay, from the top. Just simple, right down the pike here. He's able to get his hand on a pretty nice job. Okay, we're going to head to clip. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at um, tight splits is a good example of teams. You know, even though they're in a spread punt format, very tight splits here by the offense. What you could do, Coach Yashinsky details what you may want to do against tight split teams. Okay, you're going to see a team right now that's getting right past them on the edge. Okay, so if they're not going to give anything on the inside, you have edge pressure. Okay, on the outside, C and D gaps get into the punter. Okay, so pretty good takeoff by this player. Okay. He, he has to make a decision as personal protector. He's going to personal protect left. It's going to open up the rush lane for the left outside block. Better shot of it here. I know in high school, you know, sometimes you can confuse those personal protectors. They're making calls on their own. You could show them something and then back out. Okay, right now this personal protector does not do a good job identifying the front. He's going to pick a side like we just talked about and free up that outside rush to get there. Okay, now what you're going to see here is uh, an overload. This is a kick step team. Okay, so you're going to get an overload to the right. Okay, you're going to have one, two, three, four potential overloads. Get a better shot of the end zone here. Overload to this side, you're going to have one, A gap, two, B gap, three in the C gap, four and five, okay, in the D gap. I mean, this is just simple picking your gap. I mean, if the, if, if, if the punt team's not going to adjust, they have three, they have four, one, two, Three, four to block five. I mean, it's just a numbers advantage right now. It's a pretty good job. Okay, just getting off the edge and getting to the kick spot. Now, this is a tight clip here, coaches. We'll get a chance to show you this one here. Okay, now... You're going to have a swim. I guess we'll see it better from the end zone shot. But uh, Coach detailed a pretty good swim technique, swimming on the on the long snap. We all know in high school you, and in college you cannot touch that long snapper. Here's just an option for you. Okay, looking right here. I know, I know the kick does not get blocked, but it's just a matter of the technique. Pretty good job by that player, just getting skinny, trying to get to the block point.
Okay, a little better clip here. All right, this is just what Coach Yashinsky talks about is showing press and then bailing out. So you have these two, fen two, two, these two defenders right now giving the illusion like it's an A-gap pressure, like it's a punt rush, and then you're just going to bail out pre-snap or post-snap, excuse me, just to get in their coverage lanes and make sure there's no fake. You know, a lot of coaches talk about 10 up fronts and a punt, punt rush team, you know, susceptible to blocks. You know, are, are we going to get caught uh, in a fake? And that's just an answer for you just to bail out there and let the punt team punt the ball. Better view of it here of number 20 and 31 just bailing out. Okay, we'll get to the next clip. Okay, now the coach is going to talk about attacking the inside shoulder. Okay, this is a spread punt with three shield defenders. And again, we'll get a better look at it in the end zone shot. It's tough to see with the wide version. Okay, so you're going to have two off the edge either way, okay, coming right this way, and then two off the edge coming this way, and that 10-up alignment. Okay, pretty good job. This player has to make a decision. Good job by this defender right now, what Coach calls blowing up the inside shoulder of that blocker and getting tight to the block spot. Just got to finish. But again, en enough to deter the kick, and sometimes that's all you need. I think we have one or two more here. Let's get one more in. Okay, and again, it's more of a spread formation, unorthodox punt formation, where you're going to have two wide over here. Okay, this is just another bail technique. Okay, here's 44, or it looks like that's his number. He's going to show press. He's going to bail out. He's able to get out of there. Coaches, we appreciate your attention, and especially thanks to Coach Yashinsky, okay, for putting together his clinic report on his punt rush, punt return team, and more importantly, how he scouts offensives personnel okay to attack punts this is mike kuchar www.xandolabs.com coaches thanks for logging on